Hey, what's going on guys? Mike Witt here with Contact Industries and James with uh, B4DI. And here, we're uh, today we're gonna talk about our mobile truck bed fighting position that you see behind us. So on the mobile truck bed fighting position, uh, this was worked in conjunction with B4DI. We try to identify an area or a gap in the market that we thought we could add value to, especially for departments that don't have Bearcats or armored vehicles that have pickup trucks and can utilize them for more de uh, defensive type strategies, especially when they're dealing with a, a cordon, a call out, a barricaded suspect. Um, this right here is a NIJ3 Plus uh, package that folds origami style into the truck bed uh, of your vehicle. So when it's not in use, it can ride completely uh, covert. Um, you can put a topper, camper, anything like that on the top of your truck. And ultimately, once it's deployed, um, it pops up. So if you walk around, it's got four sides of protection, uh, the driver's side, the back side, and the two flanks. And then uh, here on the left strike face, we have our GP3M turret port that's used for armored vehicles such as Bearcats. Um, and we've uh, incorporated it directly into the truck bed fighting position. So the, the, the truck bed position can be utilized in covertly under a camper folded down with the truck bed closed. And um, depending on whether it's under a camper or whether it's under a cover, um, it could either be deployed and opened and functional all the time or it takes about 30 seconds to fully articulate it up into a functional fighting position. Um, it allows um, agencies to stage a, a secure, safe, um, armored position on a surveillance like as if it was under a camper. Um, it allows SWAT teams to again to place a vehicle that is nondescript but has armor but they're not going to the expense of a, a full armored vehicle especially for smaller agencies that may not have the budget for that but it, it just really allows for a, a covert a covert ability to deploy a kit um, in the field and it also allows for you to strategically place armor um, when you need it, when you know you may be waiting on a larger, like a Bearcat or something else, or you might not have access to one at all. And it allows you some armor protection to either do an officer rescue or to, if you have a barricade, to be able to move your armor and move personnel to the most strategic place possible, as opposed to just having to take cover that you have, you know, at wherever it happens to be, which is not always, actually almost never, exactly where it would be most beneficial to you. So this, this rear panel folds outward so that it allows for the capability to do an officer rescue or to deploy people out of the back of it. The driver, even though it's an unarmored vehicle, can use his, utilizing his backup camera, he can actually back up to an officer rescue or back up to a threat, be able to lower the, the rear section of armor, either go get somebody and bring them back in or simply deploy from the back of the truck and it allows you again to, without, you know, without access to a large armored vehicle, to be able to safely, or as safely as possible in that type of a situation, deploy people at strategic locations. You could put two or three guys in here, you can move them to positions of cover, you can move them to strategic locations as safely as possible. So with the officer situated within the actual MTFP, you can comfortably fit two officers in here. Uh, typically, most people uh, engaging from this, uh, whether they're observing or actually actively engaging with a rifle platform, are going to be firing from the seated position. Um, so to actively uh, survey and engage targets, you can fit two officers in here. Again, we have our GP3M weapons port right here, which offers full protection for that officer. So they're actually uh, inserting their compensator, suppressor, whatever setup you have through the actual turret. So they actually have full protection from down in here. You see me there? So weapon system through here, and they're able to sight in and lock on targets downrange. Um, on this side, you'll see a, a more traditional slide port. So if you come around here, you can see this is a ballistic viewport. This uh, insert right here is a NIJ4 viewport. The entire system, though, is NIJ3+. Plus. Um, and so, again, officers also have the ability to survey and look downrange and engage targets from weapons ports built on three sides of the system. Um, but that is the lowdown on the MTFP. If you guys have any questions or would like to get a demo for your department, please reach out to us at contactindustries.com. Reach out to James at B4DI. We'll be happy to hook you guys up.